Hey guys, I just want to um, share an email outreach that I'm doing for a follow up from a cold call. Um, I'll post in the description which, uh, e well, this is the, the one that I did, um, I think two days ago yesterday that I did for the realtor. Um, I'll link in which uh, which uh, client that this, I mean, it says Sally, so I guess you know which one that is. But the main point is that I, I spent like about an hour uh, creating this, uh, coming up with this email I'm uh, sorry, this uh, email yeah, email and uh, proposal. And you know, it's just a good gesture when someone asks you, you're very upfront with them if they ask you for their what portfolio website, I'm more than happy to send them links so that they can take their time when they're comfortable and read through things on their own. And you know, I did promise that I'll send them an email proposal. So uh, not a proposal, but an email follow-up. So this is what I did. It says, hey Sally, it was really nice speaking to you the other day. I'm sure you have taken a quick view of our website through the link I texted you. We don't have a concretely listed uh, pricing package because we try and take a holistic approach to our marketing and create bespoke solutions for each client we work with our base goal is to make our marketing solutions turn you a profit so if you invest with us a thousand dollars per month we aim to produce a net profit for the next two thousand dollars so you know it, it is business and at the end of the day no matter how much good customer service you give they're um they're always trying to turn a net profit if they invest a marketing budget with us so i try to give a rough guideline if they spend a thousand dollars per month this month and they'll make three thousand dollars per net uh, next month and they'll make a net profit of $2,000. Okay, so that's that. And the main method we use to bring clients to your um, doors and onboard them, I think I, I think that was that. I, think, I don't know why that was two paragraphs. Uh, the main method we use to bring our clients to your doors and onboard them onto your sales funnel entry point but is by Facebook ads because it's real estate, Facebook ads is probably the best. Next is probably Instagram, so that's why I said Facebook ads first. This is the best social media marketing platform because it is very friendly towards a more mature crowd that are likely to be in the home ownership market. The lead generation cost per lead for real estate businesses, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, the lead generation cost for per lead for real estate businesses is a bit high and will cost approximately forty to fifty dollars per lead. And we dedicate our time to be to bring you quality clients who you will be able to close more easily through your currently established sales funnel. We do other social media content creation and Instagram and TikTok as well. And we could look into how we could assist you on these other social media platforms as well. So I think I said two there, I think um, two. My writing vocabulary is a little limited, but you know, I think it was the first email that I was writing in the morning. But you know, I'm just, I just want to give a general sense of what I'm writing. So I did focus on Facebook ads, but I want to leave open that we're also open to do other social media Instagram accounts like Instagram and TikTok. So um, just to put seed ideas into my clients no i'm not trying to be mani manipulative but you know just to open the suggestion that we are we are capable we are a capable team that can are multifaceted multi-talented and we work with more than just facebook ads that's the only reason i wrote that there just to let them know that we do work uh with a broad based approach and then my business partner who takes care of the project management can go into more detail for you and we would be delighted to go over our strategies in a 15 to 20 minute online presentation when the time is right for you Drop me a text at my number and I could give you some more information or we could set up a date and time for an appointment when it is convenient for you. Drop me a message in time. You're awesome, Simon. So, so <clears throat> I really like, I, don't, I know this is kind of odd, but my personal style is I really love just being open and friendly. Um, you know, if they want to drop me a text, I, I am busy sometimes and I might not be able to pick up a phone call. And I really like when someone gives me a heads up, like a text message, message 30 minutes or an hour ahead of time. So I know to expect a phone call from them, you know, just give me a heads up or even better yet, schedule a predefined, predetermined appointment time with me. That's the best. So, yeah, so, the, you know, those are just my marketing strategies. I thought I'd share, you know, I do upload, I'm going to continue uploading my sales presentation videos and cold calling and stuff like that. But, you know, just to give you guys an idea of what I do on follow ups, I also was texting the lady. Obviously, I said uh, it was nice speaking to you. I, I said I texted you. So we were texting be before this, this as well. And that's all good. I don't have uh, my phone messaging data on my PC desktop to show you, but I was, it was short. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. And I'll show you guys what I text sometimes too. But, um, yeah, that's, this is all from a cold call follow-up. Hopefully we book a meeting and this is all about developing relationships, really making people feel great. Um, you know, I'm trying to get my business partner on board to be a bit more friendly towards my clients as well during presentations. But, you know, I really like like generating a lot of good feelings, you know, good feelings drives good business. And I think that's a great strategy because, you know, our good feelings is a sort of a compass to uh, art, intelligence, building great things, science, technology, like good feelings, like, like things that bring us value is 
what our brains are wired to um, seek out. So if we, if I tailor my business solutions and marketing strategies towards good feelings, I think I'm doing a great thing. You know, you want to create a holistic approach and do what's good for the community too. And that's just my broad marketing approach. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.